welcome guys so in this video we are going to solve the very important problem uh, in uh, in fourier transform so it is a very repeated 8 mark or 13 mark question okay so it is uh, you see it is asked for 2018 17 and 13 12 and etc okay so many time this question either the same problem they are asking for fourier transform or laplace transform okay so the two thing is uh, the same procedure only so the first pro you see uh, find the fourier transform of signal x of t equal to e power minus a modulus t okay for a greater than 0 and sketch its magnitude spectrum okay so this is the given question so in this problem uh, there may be a variation instead of this a okay here a is a constant the a is greater than 0 so instead of a so here there may be a chance to give e power minus 2 modulus t or a equal to 1 or a equal to 3 or any value they will give okay so in the same manner only we are going to solve this problem so what is the given signal first you see x of t equal to e power minus a modulus t okay so already we solved uh, two exponential signal problem in the previous uh, videos okay one is x of t equal to e power minus a in a t u of t it is a exponentially decaying signal and this signal is available only for the positive time that is t equal to 0 to t equal to infinity and uh, uh, we used another one signal it is said to be e power a t into u of minus t so u of minus t means uh, so e power a t means this signal is a exponentially rising signal okay exponentially rising signal but this signal is available for the negative time that is minus infinity to zero okay so here the x of t is a e power minus a modulus t okay so this signal is a double sided exponential signal so what is double sided exponential signal means so here for this modulus that is what is modulus t the t is having both positive value as well as negative value so we are going to split this e power minus a modulus t into like this okay you see so first one in this equation i am giving uh, for t i am applying positive value so positive value means the expression it can be written as e power minus a plus t so e power minus at so this expression is valid for positive time axis so positive time axis means what is the meaning of positive time axis the time t equal to 0 to infinity so in order to indicate this signal is available only for the positive duration we have to multiply it with u of t okay similarly next we have to apply uh, this t instead of this modulus t we have to apply minus t so if you are substituting minus so we will get e power minus a minus t so e power minus of minus plus it will be considering as a e power at okay this waveform is available whenever the t value is negative so t in order to indicate uh, this signal is available only for negative time axis we have to multiply this signal with u of minus t okay what is u of minus t u of minus t means this entire wave it is available only for the duration minus infinity to zero okay so the x of t e power minus a modulus t it can be expanded as e power minus a t u of t plus e power plus a t into u of minus t okay so this is the Uh, e power minus a modulus t okay and it can be also be represented as like this that is e power minus a t when time t greater than 0 that is you see if you are substituting for this t positive value means e power minus a t okay so e power minus a t when t greater than or equal to 0 what is greater than or equal to 0 0 to infinity uh, if you are substituting for this t minus t means minus of minus plus so e power at when time t less than or equal to 0 okay and uh, this is the graph for this uh, x of t waveform okay so this x of t is having two different wave for positive time it's a exponentially decaying signal e power minus so exponentially decaying signal for a negative time it is a exponentially rising signal so you see so for positive time that is 0 to t the signal wave is it is exponentially decaying okay so this is the for this wave the expression is e power minus at u of t similarly for the time minus infinity to zero you see the wave shape is like exponentially rising so
so this waveform is e power a t into u of minus t so this is the graph for the given signal x of t equal to e power minus a modulus t okay so our aim is to we have to uh, determine the fourier transform of this entire signal okay so the first one so we have to write the definition of a fourier transform so so what is the formula for the fourier transform so fourier transform of any continuous time signal x of t it can be written as integration minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt okay so next one in the place of x of t we have to substitute the value so what is the x of t the x of t consist of two values okay two uh, graph the first graph is you see the first waveform is a e power minus a t u of t plus e power a t u of minus t so instead of this x of t you just substitute e power minus a t u of t plus e power a t u of minus t into e power minus j omega t dt okay so next one uh, you see so you split this integration to each term so integration this first term into e power minus j omega t dt plus integration the second term into e power j omega t into dt okay so now you see so here this function is multiplied with unit step signal u of t so u of t means you know the integration we have to restrict to zero to infinity so you you have to remove this u of t and in the place we have to the integration limit is zero to infinity so e power minus at e power minus j omega t so the base is common the power is different so we have to add the powers so in the power which one is common minus t as a common so you take minus as common t as common we have to write a plus j omega t into dt similarly in this uh, here the u of minus t is there what is u of minus t the folded version of a unit step signal so the folded version means if any one function multiplied with u of minus t means that signal is available for during the interval minus infinity to zero so that's why we have to restrict the integration limit is from minus infinity to zero okay so listen if any one function multiplied with u of t means the integration limit we have to restrict to zero to infinity that is positive time if any one function multiplied with u of minus t means you have to restrict the limit minus infinity to zero okay that is for the negative time and similarly you can just combine these two e powers so in this e power which one is common only t is common so you take t as common so e power a minus j omega into t dt okay so the next one we have to integrate this term so the integration of e power minus some constant into t with respect to t we have to integrate so what is the answer e power minus a plus j omega t divided by minus of a plus j omega okay so with the limit 0 to infinity similarly if you are integrating this one e power a minus j omega t by a minus j omega with the limit minus infinity to zero okay so then in this you substitute the upper limit so if you are substituting upper limit in the place of t we have to put infinity so e power minus infinity okay then minus of we have to substitute the lower limit what is the lower limit zero so e power zero so divided by minus of a plus j omega similarly you substitute the upper limit here upper limit is zero so e power zero minus of you substitute the lower limit so lower limit e power um, minus some value into minus infinity so it is minus infinity okay so already you know the value of e power 0 what is the value of e power 0 it is 1 what is the value of e power minus infinity it is 0 so over here this is 0 so minus 1 divided by minus a plus j omega so minus minus cancel so we will get 1 by a plus j omega okay so similarly here e power 0 uh, is 1 this value is 0 so 1 by a minus j omega so this is the fourier transform of the given signal okay and after that if you want to take uh, lcm means you take uh, here you take lcm so a plus j omega a minus j omega so if you are taking lcm here a minus j omega plus a plus j omega so here minus j omega plus j omega gets cancelled so we will get a plus a it is 2a so 2a divided by a square so here you see in denominator a plus j omega a minus j omega so if you are multiplying these two we will get a square minus j omega square so j square answer is 1 minus so here it is plus 
So either you write this answer or this answer. So this is the minimized answer of x of j omega. So this is the Fourier transform of the given double-sided exponential signal. Okay. So the Fourier transform we derived. And in the question, uh, uh, draw the magnitude spectrum also. So what is magnitude spectrum? Or magnitude spectrum is otherwise called as amplitude spectrum. So the spectrum is nothing but it's a graphical representation of uh, uh, the modulus of x of j omega versus frequency. It is called as amplitude spectrum. Okay. The phase angle of uh, x of j omega versus uh, omega, it is said to be the phase spectrum. So the first one, so this is the x of j omega value. So you see in this x of j omega value, any imaginary part is there. So you know the Fourier transform answer for any signal is a complex quantity. So a complex quantity means it may consist of real part and imaginary part. So here automatically the imaginary cancelled. So we will get the reduced answer as 2a by a squared plus omega squared. So you see this term is completely real part. So in the x of j omega, there is no imaginary part. Okay, so that's why. So from this x of j omega, we have to calculate the two things. One is modulus of x of j omega. So what is modulus? That is, for example, if you are taking one complex quantity, a plus jb means the modulus of a plus jb is the square root of real squared plus imaginary squared. So real is a squared plus imaginary is b squared. So similarly, in this term, only real is there. So that's why the modulus of x of j omega equal to square root of this real the squared. So square square root get cancelled. So that's why the modulus of x of j omega is the same answer. 2a by a squared plus omega squared. Since in the x of j omega, there is no imaginary part. Okay, so that's why the x of j omega is said to be the modulus of x of j omega. So according to this term, the magnitude, the amplitude spectrum is depending upon the frequency omega. Here A is a constant, here A is a constant and omega is the frequency. So with respect to this frequency, the modulus of x of j omega value, it will vary. Okay. So the graphical representation of this modulus of x of j omega versus the frequency omega, it is said to be the amplitude spectrum or phase spectrum. Okay. Similarly, uh, we have to obtain the phase spectrum. So what is phase spectrum means the phase angle of x of j omega versus omega is said to be the phase spectrum. So how to calculate the angle that is the angle of x of j omega it is shortly written as theta of j omega. So the angle is calculated by turn inverse of imaginary part of x of j omega divided by real part of x of j omega. So in a given x of j omega there is no imaginary part only real part. So that's why here the imaginary part, the numerator is zero. So zero divided by anything. What is the answer? Zero. So turn inverse of zero. So when turn tends to be zero, it's a zero degree. So the phase spectrum for this problem is zero. Okay. If one problem, the x of j omega consists of only real part means the phase spectrum value, the phase angle value for all frequency is zero only. Okay. So then after calculating this modulus of x of j omega and the theta of j omega, so we have to make one table. Okay. So this table, from this table only, we have to draw the corresponding spectrum graph. Okay. So you see, so in the table, we have to write uh, three column. One is the frequency omega, modulus of x of j omega, theta of j omega, x of j omega. So here for different value of omega, we have to obtain these two answers and we have to draw the graph. So here you see the center value, okay. The omega, the center value is zero. Then the omega value, it may be 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30, etc. So for sampling, for samples, I am taking omega is zero, omega is 10, 20. Similarly, minus 10, minus 20, okay. So first of all, if omega is zero means, okay, if omega is zero means we have to find out the value of modulus of x of j omega and the phase angle. The phase angle, you know, according to this equation, the phase angle is zero for any frequency. That's, that's why this uh, last column is always zero degree for any value of omega. So only we have to calculate this magnitude spectrum. Okay. 
So what is the modulus of x of j omega? 2a by a square plus omega square. So in this equation, if you are substituting omega is 0. So if omega is 0 means what is the answer? 2a by a square. So a, 1a cancel. So what is the answer? 2 by a. Okay. So at omega is 0, what is the modulus value? 2 by a. Similarly, you substitute omega equal to 10. So if you are substituting 10, we will get 2a by a squared plus here 10 squared. 10 squared is 100. Okay. So this answer is, you know, uh, with respect to 2 by a, what is 2a by a squared plus 100? It is always reduces. Okay. So similarly, when omega is 20, we will get 2a by a squared plus 400. Okay. So the denominator value is increasing. So what about the total value? The total value is decreasing also. So when we are increasing the frequency, what about the magnitude spectrum? It decreases. Okay. Uh, uh, similarly, we have to find uh, for omega is minus 10, omega is minus 20, we have to substitute. Okay. So if omega, whenever the omega is minus 10, we will get the same answer as that of omega is 10. Okay. Similarly, 20 minus 20, we will get the same answers. Okay. So after uh, getting this table, we have to draw the graph. Okay. So what is this graph? This is the amplitude spectrum. What is amplitude spectrum? Modulus of x of j omega versus omega. Okay, in x-axis, you have to take frequency. In y-axis, you have to take x of j omega. For first one, if omega is 0, what is the answer? 2 by a. It is the peak value. When omega is 10 and omega is minus 10, we will get 2a by a squared plus 100. Okay. So if you are increasing the omega, what about the uh, that uh, x of modulus of x of j omega? It decreases. Similarly, if you are increasing the negative frequency also, that value decreases. Okay. So this is the graph for the amplitude spectrum. Okay. So similarly, the phase spectrum is for all omega value, the phase angle is zero only. Okay. So in the zero line, you just dot that uh, thing. Okay. For uh, any value of omega, we will get the same zero degree angle. So this is the phase spectrum. Okay. So this is the problem. Uh, X of t equal to e power minus a modulus t. Okay. It's a very important question. Very repeated question. Okay. So always this question is asking for either 8 mark uh, or 13 mark question. Okay. Oh, it's a very important thing. So the same problem. So we are going to solve in Laplace transform also. Okay. Sometimes the same question it will come in Laplace transform. Okay, so it is a Fourier transform. Okay, thanks for watching. So please subscribe my channel for more videos and share this video to your friends. Thank you.